thanks for joining me. We are going to read The Gingerbread Pirates. This is one of my very favorite gingerbread stories to read, so I'm excited that you're here for it, okay? Here we go. It was Christmas Eve and Jim and his mother were making gingerbread men. Let's make a pirate crew, said Jim, and so they did. The captain had a gingerbread cutlass and a peg leg made from a toothpick. Jim loved him best of all. You'd better leave some pirates out for Santa Claus to eat, said his mother. Not Captain Cookie, said Jim. At bedtime, Jim took the captain to his room. I wish you had a ship, he whispered as he climbed into bed. Then he lay awake, listening for reindeer hooves on the roof. Captain Cookie seemed to be listening, too. Jim fell asleep, but Captain Cookie went on listening. Where's my crew, he wondered. And who's this Santa Claus who wants to eat them? When the house was quiet, he swished his cutlass through the air. He tested his peg leg. Tap step, tap step, tap step, and he climbed down into darkness. Then he ran. Step, tap, step, tap, step, tap. He ran until he came to a cliff. He dropped his cutlass over it and then followed. He found his cutlass and then another cliff. So he did it all again, one cliff after another, until he reached the bottom. Then Captain Cookie had a shock. I wonder what he found. Oh no, a mouse was nibbling on his cutlass. Why, it's half gone, cried the captain. He grabbed the cutlass and slashed at the air. Oh, it's ruined he moaned, and off he went. Stop, tap, stop, tap, stop, tap. Merry Christmas, called the mouse. Christmas, what's that, thought the captain. Then he turned a corner and saw something that astonished him. <clears throat> a huge tree with stars in its branches. Ahoy there, called a voice. Looking up, Captain Cookie saw two pirates climbing down toward him. <gasps> My crew, he thought. The two men, Wavy and Dots by name, dropped to the ground. They jumped right up, but the captain saw that Dots had, a bro had broken his hand. No cutlass, and now a wounded man, he thought. Just then there was a thump and a scrape. A black cloud puffed toward them. Run, shouted the captain. Who could have made that thud? They ran until they had to stop for breath. Who is that, asked Dots. Must be that cannibal, Santa Claus, said Captain Cookie. We've got to get out of here before he eats us. Where's the rest of the crew? Up on that cliff, I think, said Wavy. Start climbing, men, said the captain. Oh, no. Up they went. They were in jail, cried Dot when they reached the top cried the pirates. Wavy and Dots kicked at the prison walls. They tried in vain to move the roof. What about a rope and pulley from the ship, said Wavy. What about the ship's cannon, said Dots. There is no ship, said the captain. Then he noticed a strange look on Wavy's face and he whirled around and what he saw made him wish he had his cutlass.
A gigantic man was leaning over them. Young Jim always leaves cookies for me, he said, but the plate was empty, so I came in here. Look out, boys, ordered the captain. The big man lifted the prison roof and peered in. Don't you eat my crew, shouted the captain, raising his fists. The big man blinked. This is your crew, he said. Yes, said the captain. And who are you? Well, who is it? I know you know. Tell somebody at your house. Who is it? I am Santa Claus. And I swear by my sleigh, I won't eat your men. Sleigh? What's that? Some kind of ship? That's right. Swears by a ship. Can't be all that bad, thought the captain. Still, he was suspicious. What are you doing here, he asked. Why, it's Christmas. Christmas, said Captain Cookie. I wish somebody would tell me what that is. Santa Claus laughed. Follow me, he said. I'll show you a bit of Christmas. Back beside the starlit tree, the pirates watched as Santa Claus reached into an enormous bag. What have you got there? The captain began. It's a ship, Wavy shouted. And the next thing Captain Cookie knew, his men were swarming its decks and rigging. There's cannons and cutlasses, cried Dot. The sky glittered with stars. The captain rubbed his eyes. Real pirates, he thought. And a real ship. He turned to look back. Merry Christmas, he called. But Santa Claus was already gone. On Christmas morning, Jim's mother found an empty plate on the mantel. It looks like Santa Claus found the gingerbread men, she said. But Jim was admiring his presence. His favorite was the pirate ship and its pirate crew. The captain had a cutlass and a peg leg and Jim loved him best of all. The end. All right, friends, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that story. I'll see you later. Bye.